Hi everyone, I'm Alistair Stevens, and this is not the Spelunky Daily Challenge, because my recording ate the Daily Challenge. <laughs> there is no Daily Challenge to offer you tonight, as you'll see it is blanked out here. It wasn't a big deal. I scraped through the first three levels of the mine and then died in ignominious fashion. So instead, I'm going to plunge into an adventure. Uh, the first adventure that I've recorded on this particular installation of Spelunky. For those of you who may not know, the adventure is just the same as the Daily Challenge, except every everyone gets a, a, a random set of, of levels, of, of encounters, of monsters, of treasures. It's a completely new experience every time you play it. So, this could be very short-lived indeed. Or it could be triumphant. Let's focus on the good, shall we? <laughs> this could be a resounding triumph that will echo through the ages. <laughs> that is unlikely. So I sat down to record the uh, daily challenge tonight. No. The ABCs of Spelunky always be carrying brackets a rock. Um, I sat down to record the daily challenge tonight uh, because I had so much fun doing it yesterday. It's a it's a nice little habit to get into, I think. Um, still a little screwy on this new. So there are what I believe in sports are called unforced errors. Hmm. Alright. Let's expand the rope necessary to get up here in the hope that we get something better from the a parachute. Well, not awesome, but uh could have been worse, could have been a web gun. Stay well clear of the scorpion there. Scorpions are probably my least favorite early game. They are fairly vile. I have no means of breaking through there efficiently. Uh, yeah, and retreating to break through from the top doesn't seem to be viable either, so let's just grab my pet rock and carry on. I wish more games would implement a daily challenge kind of structure. It's a <laughs> really fun way to sit down and know that you're only committing 10 minutes to a particular experience. Or, you know, Less than five if you play like I do. Aha! Uh -huh. Little snake on snake violence and an early encounter with a large spider. I will incapacitate him with a bomb. <laughs> incapacitate meaning <laughs> to blow into pieces and recover his uh, sticky glue there. Oh, would you look at that! Decent number of bombs available in the shop. And an altar that I can probably bomb my way down to. In fact, that I can certainly bomb my way down to right now. Um, rather than going and recovering all those bombs from the shop, I can take care of that right here. There we go. And I'm sorry, damsel. Oh, damsel. You're more resilient than most damsels. Uh, I bet you said that to all the girls. Uh, for sophisticated uh, spelunky play, getting the kapala, that is the blood cup that I picked up in my previous run, is an absolute necessity. Alright, great. So I am well armed with bombs, which is appropriate after yesterday's daily challenge debacle. Trying to get the arc on those rocks worked out. Need to be so careful because it's trivial to. Hmm. Uh... Now, yeah. Let's. Uh... I have all these bombs. Let's bomb through the off chance that there's something worth collecting through here. Just a little more money. Grab my pet rock, now entering his third triumphant level. Is that the same rock? I don't even remember. <laughs> Let's assume for now that all rocks are the same rock. They are all instances of the... <laughs> the all rock. Um, Alright, with 6,000 here... I'm not a huge 
huge fan of the cape, I'll pick up the spike shoes, and I can always come back for the cape at a later date if necessary. No? It's so strange, it's some of that subtle uh, spatial stuff that has eluded me most completely in my time away from Spelunky. Or that has, I guess, deserted me in my time away from Spelunky. Alright, well there is our damsel. There is a crate. I think the efficacious application of a bomb will, uh, as ever, make the world a brighter place. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> picked up the replacement bomb, that's awesome. This is one of the reasons that Spelunky is just so compelling, is the random nature of the level design. You never know when you start a level whether you'll just breeze through it, whether it'll be a, a, a blessed run with money to spare and, you know, a jetpack available immediately, or... It'll be a much grimmer, darker affair where you... Here we are again. For you are my rock, and you shall be my rock. Um, or whether it'll be at a grimmer, darker affair where you're scrabbling for supplies and... struggling to make it through. Probably not worth the bomb to... Well, I don't know, actually. I do have 27 of them. And if there is a an artifact that I want later in a store, it would be nice to have the money. So I regret nothing. Alright. I think we've pretty much cleared this out. Grab Rocky. forming an irrational attachment to this rock. That's how narrative works, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, that is the horrifying murder accident just waiting to happen. Okay, let's, let's let that problem resolve itself, I think. There we go. Ah, and there is our... There's our golden chest, so that was smart. I would need to explore over here anyway to make sure that I can account for the golden key. That gets me the eye, the artifact that allows me access to the black market. Nothing over there, though. A couple of crates. Probably worth burning through a bomb there to see what's in that crate. Oh, more bombs. That is a kind of math that I can get behind. Fairly foolish, actually, jumping down here. That's a... <laughs> now in the odd position of having so many more bombs than ropes that I should expand bombs on trivial navigation tasks. Um, Alright. Let's just try this with something a little more flexible now. Uh, it's unfortunate that I'm now so low But I'm now so low in ropes, so I'm gonna have to watch for that. So they are generally more readily accessible than bombs, at least in my experience. Perhaps that's just because bombs are... It seems that way because bombs are useful in more circumstances, so... This is a very high bomb run, which I appreciate enormously. All right. And there is our key. Wonderful. And a damsel to rescue, too. Oh, that's... I haven't... There's a uh, function in the game where you can replace the default pretty girl damsel with a guy in a red thong or a, uh, a pug, a dog. Oh, hey there, Tunnel Man. <laughs> can I give you a bomb? Tunnel Man, if I can't give you a bomb today, I will never be able to give you a bomb. There you are. Uh... And I haven't reset the damsel option, so I'm going to get uh, girls in red dresses all the way down, unfortunately. 
I say unfortunately. They're great. I'm all for a little diversity in my in my rescue attempts. All right. Let's push on. Ah, our first jungle level today and our first undead level. Hmm. Another altar there I see. A shotgun down there. Um, beneath the Evil Dead reference. That's awesome. Our well-aimed rock play takes care of the skillful piranha. Now, if I blow that, it's going to drop down, which isn't a bad thing in and of itself, but I should probably check out what's over here first. Oh, well, look. That wasn't pretty, but it worked out. Okay. Um, ah! I didn't even see that guy! Look at that. Okay. Let's bomb my way through here so I can rescue the damsel. Uh, rescue her, at least as far as the altar. Um, and get my Kapala. That is step one. Alright. Now, from here on out... Let's blow that so that I can get the shop. Very valuable piece of kit. Oh, and the entrance to the black market is here. Well, that's a big deal too, huh? There is also a hidden level uh, under the king's crypt there. If you bomb your way down through it... find yourself in the castle, which is a level which just seems too hard. The, uh, the potential benefit of the castle is that it gives you access to a shield item, which is very powerful, but also very, very difficult to use well. Um, can I see? I don't see where the exit is. Um, so let's just bomb down through here. You know, I should actually, since I'm here, be rude of me not to, uh... Here we go, grab the crown there. Alright. Well, this is ugly, but these, uh... These vampires are actually fairly treacherous, so I think, uh... Incapacitating this one as easily as possible is probably not a bad idea. Uh-oh. Pretty, but Scrappy has to count for something, right? So here we are in the black market. And if the chain of events that led to the black market seems wildly implausible, hey, stick around, you ain't seen nothing yet. Um, oh my god, look at that. That's, that's hideous. What are you doing? Okay. Um... That side's going to be difficult. I think... I think I'm going to have to sacrifice this... I'm going to have to sacrifice this damsel unless... Are you going to... Are you going to jump up there again? Are you? I, I have to be so careful. I can't stand near the shopkeeper in case he's triggered. Alright, the things I do to save a damsel. Including getting close to that boomerang guy, which you really think I wouldn't do after my last misadventure. And of course, the damsel is almost certainly going to die in the uh, crossfire here anyway. So it is possible to negotiate the black market without murdering shopkeepers and uh, 
taking all their belongings for your very own, but I don't have anything like enough money for the secret item that I want. Not to mention that, of course, that you get to clear out any additional items that have to be available in the black market. But it is always, always a huge challenge. You've got to be prepared to be liberal with explosives. You've got to be quick with your response. You've got to be willing occasionally to sacrifice damsels. It's never, uh, it's never a pretty state of affairs, let me tell you. Too enthusiastic about that guy, though. He now had the sticky bomb stuck to his head, so that's pretty good. Okay, so this is the Ankh. This is what I want. Um, I think, yeah. Okay. I'm taking everyone else into account, and now, of course, a terrible chill. And the ghost is here. Very dangerous to get to the shop like that because one Aaron shot is all you need. Luckily, getting away from the ghost in the black market. The black market is a much more uh, predictable layout. Oh my god, I killed all the shopkeepers. Wow, you can tell I killed all the shopkeepers because the music has uh, changed back to its non shopkeeper -y form. Oh, this is, this is terrible. This is terrible. I was trying to get back up there and avoid. Okay, now I can use the special ability of the cape, which allows me to do that. So not too bad. I have everything I need. 44 bombs and a cloak. <laughs> So that's not bad. The, the raiding the black market is uh, pretty much the first test of exceptional Spelunky skill. In the, in the, uh, exceptional in the true sense of the word. You, know, you don't have to do it, but if you want to complete the game within a game, it's a necessary consideration. Um, so now, with the Ankh, all I have to do is proceed through the jungle levels. Oh, I keep forgetting that I have the Kapala, so I should be... I should be murdering as many denizens of the jungle as possible, so that I might collect their blood. As I may have said <laughs> during the daily challenge yesterday, Spelunky does have a way of turning you into a monster. Um, Oh, this is the other consequence, by the way, of raiding the black market, is once the shopkeepers hate you, there will be a shopkeeper guarding the end of every level. And the shopkeepers are, of course, because this is Spelunky, incredibly dangerous. And, some might say, unnecessarily great. That did it. That took him out. There's nothing like a well-placed sticky bomb for dealing with shopkeepers. Um, it doesn't look as though that's... Yeah, nothing here. The extra shopkeeper in the little vault there can't do anything to me unless I choose to break in, but... That would be foolish in the extreme. Alright, one more jungle level to go. Um, oh, I'll pay for my crimes, which is never good. That means that somewhere on this level, a shopkeeper has already been triggered. Um, he's been angered by something. There's a wonderfully rewarding click to the game when you begin every new level, when these randomly placed elements, uh, when the, the game systems begin to mesh and everything clicks together and there's oftentimes you have these wonderful moments when there's just a distant explosion and then you get told that you'll pay for your crimes um, a few snails here a 
snail bubbles are, uh... The snail bubbles are one of those interesting, uh, threats in Spelunky where they're fairly trivial to avoid as long as you're paying attention. And as soon as your attention wanders, just a fraction of an inch, they will get you. Um, Alright, I'm going to clear out all the way to the exit. Oh, look at that! So, that's what happened. The level spawned, the random level spawned with the shopkeeper standing by the door to the next level. The tiki trap that was there triggered and stabbed him, throwing him down into that pit with the other tiki trap, whereupon he died. So, pretty good, tiki trap. Pretty good. Um... Oh my god. Oh no! And that is irony. So, my Ankh triggered. Which means that I have another life. Uh, but it also means that I can't use the Ankh to access the... Or to, uh, <laughs> It's complicated. To trigger the sequence of events I need to trigger in order to get the very best ending to the game. Um, so instead, I think what I'm going to do is just peaceably go about my business or get stabbed by another tiki trap. It's always the tiki traps. Well, that's 20 minutes. That's not too bad. <laughs> I will be back at some point in the future, probably tomorrow, with another daily challenge. Uh, thank you for watching.